While it may be difficult days for Republicans on the national stage these days, here in Oklahoma, the GOP is celebrating. For the first time in our state's history, Republicans have control of the Senate and the House. But what do they plan to do with that power? News 9's John Jordan sat down with the Senate Majority Leader to find out. John, fill us in. Well, it's taken 101 years for the Republicans to get to this day, and now that it's here, they have no plans of giving back the Senate anytime soon. If that's the case, well, Democrats are warning them to govern carefully. It's a new day in Oklahoma. For Oklahoma Senate Republicans, it's hard not to be happy these days. When I walked in the door 10 years ago, there were 15 of us. And as term limits and uh, new faces have decided to run for this, the state Senate, uh, I think those ideas triumphed. And we've, we've picked up a couple of seats every cycle. Ideas that Republicans say gave them control of the Senate and ideas they say they will continue to push for, such as tax cuts and changes in education as well as trying once again to limit just how much victims receive in medical malpractice lawsuits. An agenda the new Senate Majority Leader Todd Lamb says is vital. Uh, but they're going to be very aggressive ideas, exciting ideas to really move Oklahoma forward. The exact ideas Democrats say won't work. But if they're going to push a real hard right agenda here, I don't, the public didn't support that, and it's going to be something that could really backfire here in Oklahoma. Democratic State Senator Andrew Rice says they are ideas that are nothing new. What they're talking about sounds similar to what we've seen on the national level the last eight years. Uh, more deregulation, uh, lower tax cuts at a time for, for uh, large companies and upper income Oklahomans at a time when the economy is getting rough here in Oklahoma. But Republican leaders say when Oklahomans went to the polls earlier this month, they sent a message. They want change. The Senate used to be uh, termed as the place that good ideas go to die. Uh, we're going to give those good ideas a hearing over the next two years. Now, despite the advantage Republicans will have in the legislature, they still won't have the numbers to override a governor's veto. And Democrats say that will be their one key advantage to keeping the Republicans in check. All right. Thank you, John. So exactly what will Republicans be pushing for the 09 session? We'll find out next month when they release their agenda.